story to tell. The Century series is a popular name for a group of U.S. fighter aircraft representing models designated between F-100 and F-106, which went into full production. They included the first successful supersonic aircraft designs in the United States Air Force's service, which remained in active service well into the 1970s and 1980s with the Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard. From the F-104 Starfighter, was very insecure, but if there is a record of the most self-defeating record in the Vietnam War, no aircraft can match the F-100 Super Saber, the world's first fighter capable of supersonic speed in level flight. With the success of the F-86 Saber during the Korean War, North American aviation sought to refine and improve the aircraft. In January 1951, the company approached the U.S. Air Force with an unsolicited brochure for a supersonic fighter that it dubbed Saber 45. This name derived from the fact that the new aircraft's wings possessed a 45-degree sweep and its nose intake distinctively tapered into a flattened elliptical shape. The first of the Century series of advanced 1950s era fighters, the F-100, was nicknamed for Han as an abbreviation for 100. F-100 Super Saber was a single-seat fighter and bombing aircraft with a length of 15.2 meters, 4.95 meters high. Weight without arms was 13 tons. The afterburner on the F-100 was J57P7 turbojet was designed to dump raw fuel straight into the tailpipe by passing the jet turbine. Though this car fuel prodigiously, it helped boost the F-100 to supersonic speeds as high as 1,290 km per hour at high altitude, allowing F-100s to set several speed records. The operational range was 3,200 km, maximum altitude of 15,000 meters. The F-100 Super Saber was equipped with four 20mm M39 cannons and can carry 3.2 tons of bombs. The F-100 Super Saber operated in the U.S. Air Force from 1954 to 1971. By 1964, the U.S. Air Force removed the F-100 Super Saber from the fighting squadron in Vietnam and replaced it with F-4 Phantom II and F-105 Thunder Chief. The first fly on May 25, 1953, the F-100 Super Saber was considered the first U.S. supersonic fighter model. It is also considered the first in the Century Aircraft series developed for the U.S. Army during the period from 1950 to 1960. Officially commissioned for the U.S. Air Force on September 27, 1954, the early F-100 was primarily for training and limited operations in the United States. On April 16, 1961, F-100 first appeared in Southeast Asia at Clark of Philippines and Don Muong in Thailand. When the United States brought the bomb to North Vietnam in 1964, the F-100 began carrying out large-scale combat missions in Vietnam. The first F-100 was shot down in Vietnam on April 18, 1964. During the years of deployment in Vietnam, the F-100 participated as an escort fighter 
besides being used for bombing. In addition, a small number of F-100 were also converted to train pilots and were equipped with APR-25 vector radars for service in suppression of enemy air defense missions, namely disabling SA-2 missiles in northern Vietnam. Most of the time serving in Vietnam, the F-100 were not appreciated in any of the missions it participated in. Even it was considered to be unsafe, no button has fallen. Summarizing during the time of fighting in Vietnam, the US admitted losing a total of 242 F-100, of which 186 were shot down by anti-aircraft fire and 45 were in accidents. This number turns the F-100 into the most self-falling aircraft in Vietnam. During the time in the US Air Force, there were 189 f 100 out of a total of more than 2,000 aircraft built in accidents, killing 324 pilots. Even in 1958, there were 116 accidents, killing 47 pilots. That shows how insecure the F-100 was. During the later years of the war, F-100 was slowly replaced by the F-105, F-4, and LTV A-7 Corsair II. The U.S. Air National Guard finally retired its last Super Sabres in 1980. 325 completed their service as shiny orange QF-100 targets drones used as missile test targets though a few F-100s remain in flyable condition. The F-100 Super Saber also saw service in the air forces of Taiwan, Denmark, France, and Turkey. Taiwan was the early foreign air force to fly the F-100A. These were later updated to close to the F-100T standard. The French received 100 aircraft in 1958 and used them for combat missions over Algeria. Turkey's F 100s received from both the US and Denmark through sorties in support of the 1974 invasion of Cyprus. The first American supersonic jet was known as a fighter with a terrible accident rate, but it still pioneered new revolutionary technologies and tactics. My video of F-100 Super Cyber ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.